So uh, my job is relatively made uh, simpler by Dr. Durgesh. Uh, though I'm supposed to present here the uh, how to draft the PPP document. And uh, as Dr. Durgesh says, this PPP is a disaster. That is true. Initially, when uh, our director asked us to put two MRI and two CT on PPP model, I was a bit, I was scared how I will make the document and why it is required because our institute is a uh, teaching institute which take care of patient cares and research. So PPP model is not be put in our medic, our uh, institute and it, it, it should not be acceptable. So we defined it for this, given letters and later on he understand the thing and then he gave us money to procure one of MR and CT. And he asked only for one PPP model, MRI and CT. We accepted and as Dr. Durgesh was saying, Hamari to majburi thi, kyunki 15 saal ho gaye, hame dusra MR kabhi nahi mila. Aur 15 saal se, we are just doing with the same MRI. And presently, director accepted, the principal secretary accepted. He has given us fund for MRI and CT to procure and in turn of that, he requested that we should have one PPP model MRI and CT in our department. Though in department, we refused to take PPP model CT and MRI. But in EMRTC, that is our emergency medical, uh, emergency medicine and renal transplant center, it was committed before uh, four to five years back that uh, this area will have PPP model MRI and CT. So we have to have an majburi mein hame wo document banana pad. But wo document hame bhati customized banaya because I will let you know why and how. Okay. So the PPP model is a symbiotic relationship and it has to create win-win situation for both the partners. Before making PPP documents, we must understand the ground realities behind PPP model and we must define the rules of games. So we are user here, so we have to put the rules as per a, which suits us. The trust must be earned for long-term relationship. That is the key point for a successful PPP model. And efficient implementation must be affected. I will put a slide because I'm teaching my son nowadays for adaptation in climates. So this is just Hamid Krebe and NC Animon symbiotic relationship. Though the term was coined a bit late, but PPP model is running years before that uh, term has been coined. The PPP model is already significantly running in different infrastructures, aviation, telecom, energy, education, urban development, tourism, defense, and many more fields. The PPP is the next growth catalyst for the growth of healthcare sector in India. And in our context, it is in diagnostics. PPP is a misnomer because I'm quite hopeful and I'm, I have to do it. So I have to take it as a positive way and I hope it will run proper in our institute in our, in our department. So I have taken it in a positive way. That's why I'm saying it's a misnomer. It's a private sector involvement. Everybody says if there is a private sector involvement, there is increase of cost for the public. But it is not always true. We have to be hopeful and we have to customize everything according to our needs. So as an effective management, the healthcare cost will decrease over time that we are quite hopeful for that. Quality and credibility of the service will increase multiple times. Facilities are synonymous with effectiveness, efficiency, high quality in terms of infrastructure and patient care. The PPP model also catalyzes the availability of specialist doctors through shared resources. But in LCPJ, that is not required because we have a lot of faculty and resident in our department. They can take care of everything. And it is a teaching hospital, so we have to take care of the reporting and the protocols use sequences used in different diagnostic modalities. So what is the scope of PPP healthcare projects in India? There is large, massive urban, rare, urban rural mismatch in India. 70% of healthcare infrastructure is available in urban centers. Though there are 25, 27% of population who can 
be taken care of. So there's a massive scope of PPP model. The doctor-patient ratio in these areas will also be impacted and improved using telemedicine, telereporting, and artificial intelligence. So goal is to create a sustainable model financially. There are several questions. We started making the documents for this PPP model CT and MRI. Is it really necessary or sufficient condition prerequisite? What are the sufficient condition and prerequisites for setting up a PPP model MRI or CT? What is the motivation behind the partnership? How to design and design the architecture of PPP model? What are the risks and benefits measured when deciding on a PPP? How to make memorandum of understanding? Consensus arrived at the framing of memorandum of understanding. Power and authority diffuse between the two partners. Their accessibility, affordability, and equity. So there are a lot of questions comes in our mind before drafting this. So the, uh, as to Dr. Durgesh has shown his slide, where there are different uh, delivery model has been shown. So there are a lot of delivery model like design, built, uh, operational and maintenance contract, design, built, finance and operate, built, own, operate, built, own, operate and transfer, buy, built, operate, built, lease, operate and transfer, then giving the operational licenses and finance only. There are a lot of challenges comes before drafting this. So project size was very complex with multiple stakeholders in the decision making. This lead to decision for political incentives rather than what is this for the project. Typically, it is long term. So getting out of a deal when the uh, deal becomes disadvantage, disadvantageous can be challenging. They are large and require heavy private sector financing with high risk of cost overturn of and schedule delay. So about validation, some of the justification given to validate the need for PPP, which are value for money, risk transference, the innovations to encourage PPP model and off balance sheet count accounting. So how to draft the document, which favors us, suits us and benefits us. So I customized as per my requirement, my departmental requirement. I have divided it into two parts. First is specification of the medical equipment required by the department and the general term and condition, which are again need-based. About the specification of medical equipment, because SCPGI is a tertiary care referral center, we have all the complex cases. In most of the cases, one or two surgery has been done and patient is referred to us without any detail and we have to find out the final diagnosis. It's an academic institute involved in patient care, teaching, and research. So everything has to be customized according to that. So we require latest state of art, high end model, equipped with all updated software applications with research possibilities. The second is we ask for pre comprehensive software upgrade within a month of its release. Rest of the specification has been made according to according uh, to these two criteria. So I'm not going in the detail of the specification of equipments. Next is supporting paramedical staff. When we were going through this PPP documents making, that time we were have not having a lot of technicians and nursing staff in our department. So we have asked the uh, private partners to provide us provide us staff also which are the technical officers, nursing staff, receptionists, Safai Karuchari, and data entry. As, and we have given qualifications or eligibility criteria as per standards of institute. A uh, lot of, uh, lot of uh, rules has been put up for the staff and the service providers providing the manpower to the institute. So responsibility of service provider is to provide the services round the clock. Here, the PPP partner or private partner is supposed to install the machine, like or to finance the machine in the institute space. Space has been provided by the institute. 
he is just to call the vendors to put the to install the machine and to take care of the paramedical staff we have asked to report uh, reporting has been done by radiologists and including faculty and two senior residents we will be doing <coughs> reporting for 9 to 5:30 like in the service time and the emergency report will be taken care by the private partners he can do it by tele radiology or putting some radiologists there so the all the manpower put by ppp person will be carry out duties with diligence and care deploy sufficient number of paramedical staffs then the, uh, the the private partner or the vendor is solely responsible for the affair related to the manpower and they are not to be treated as employee of the institute the statutory uh, obligation is on service provider the fully responsible for any accident or mishap involving manpower engaged by him they have to have good conduct and character have to abide by the minimum wages act and the labor laws the supporting paramedical staff should uh, be uh, will provide prompt uninterrupted and effective services the service provider or the vendor has to keep supervisors to control the working of the personnel engaged by him they have to ensure that this all the work should be duly covered and registered under beneficial insurance schemes like esi and institute shall be in no way be held responsible to meet any claim of the personnel on manpower deployed by vendor there were clause been given for termination of the agreement also as in all the agreements signed by uh, under mou the breach of any of the term and conditions of the contract will lead to termination any document found to be forged fabricated or incorrect false or incorrect reports interference when the inspection is being carried out fail to observe agreed service standards or fail to provide services and change in ownership that is not allowed uh, there are a lot of other uh, points which uh, ca cannot be covered in such a short time this assignment the, he the the private partner has no right to assign transfer or sublet the contract that that to territorial jurisdictions settlement of dip, dispute and arbitrations payment and escalations and for the payment just to benefit the vendor we have given escrow account so the payment will be transparent and there will not be any delay in the payment because that is the major part the vendor was looking for then other penalties as per criteria services regarding services of ct mri we have again made few rules like service should be round the clock the rates of various investigation like the in other private uh, business they are keeping it as uh, cths level uh, rates but in scpgi we have kept scpgi rates and that has been categorized in different uh, organ and different reason wise so the rates will be as as per scpgi all the consumables and disposable is taken care by vendor the the contrast is being used from our hospital revolving fund patients who are only registered for the scpgi they are only being taken care of the vendor cannot bring patient from outside and get it the investigation done here we will provide electricity till the main panel and the electricity later on will be charged as per the as per meter and uh, additional acs furniture fixtures has to be put by the provider uh, service providers fire safety security security cleanliness housekeeping is all, all been provided by the vendor Uh, there is a term of repeating the scans where retake is required so that is to be done free of cost and the final the the main, main part is the all the patient scans will be the property of the institute he cannot use it for other people he cannot take the scans from here because it's it, it in a, it is in a way of intellectual property so enabling condition for success from either side uh, public and uh, private partner in here institute and the service providers so, so there should be a leadership from both the partners 
there should be prior consultations, rational and trust-based contracting is to be made, pilot testing can be done, the payment is most important, so payment should be done timely, periodic review and amendment should be done, and a specific performance indicator to be set. Key constraint, again, the payment. So the best is we have to draw the escrow account just to make trans payment transfer, uh, transparent. So in summary, in summary, the public-private partnership is not privatization for us. Everybody takes it where there is privatization. It's all, all money goes to private partner. It's all disaster and it will not be a successful model. So it is not like this. We, have, both the partners should work together to make it successful. Here, government continues to play a key role. We require high degree of institutional capacity and one of the pragmatic option for healthcare delivery here, not, but not an alternative to public delivery or better governance. So, so there should not be any first. We should take it positively, think both the ways, and try to make it successful. All this I want to say, and I'm hopeful key, we will get the better people, and we can successfully run the system, and we can take care of the patients because we have a lot of backlog. As Director Sir says, three or four months of backlog hai, and that is a huge backlog. Surgeries are being suffered. So I hope our model will be successful. Thank you.